and welcome to chapel. I love English idiom, don't you? Some of those phrases that make sense to us in English but are hopeless when you translate them. I want to think today about this one. I've got a lot on my plate. We use it to describe when we're a bit overwhelmed or we've got a lot going on, a lot of activity or a lot of stresses, a lot of reasons why one more thing might be too much. And sometimes when we've got a lot on our plate, we struggle. And sometimes when other people struggle, we don't quite understand why they're struggling because they don't appear to have a lot on their plate. But one thing we need to bear in mind is that plates come in different shapes and sizes. Somebody might have a much smaller plate than someone else. Their capacity to manage difficult situations is much smaller. They don't have the same resilience. Some plates are just stronger than others. These ones that you often get at a picnic or a barbecue or a party often aren't strong enough to even hold the sandwich you want to put on it. You put something hard and difficult on there, it's just never going to survive. Those paper ones. <laughs> you can put all kinds of brave faces on them, but they still don't have the strength that they need to cope with difficult times. We tend to think that our plates should be like this, like indestructible. You can drop them, you can drop things on them. They're tough. But there's actually very few of us that are like this. This is the kind of people that you get in movies that can survive anything. They come back from uh, the dreadful accident or they get shot at but never hit. These aren't realistic, these indestructible plates. We're all at different stages. The reality is most of us are much more like these plates. We manage most of the time. We're quite tough. We can cope with the normal amount that life has to throw at us. But we can't always survive everything. There can be cracks and damage already there. That means when we place a heavy load on it, an extra thing, something more, in an already difficult week, the inevitable happens. In Mental Health Awareness Week this week, it's there to help us understand more about our mental health, how we can protect it, how we can look out for each other. Knowing that we all have a different capacity to cope with what's on our plate helps us to firstly be aware of our coping mechanisms, how well we're doing, and make ourselves able to communicate that to others, to ask for help when we need it. But also helps us to be able to understand when others are struggling and to know how to support them a bit. This week's theme for Mental Health Awareness Week is about showing kindness. We need two kinds, to show kindness to ourselves and to show kindness to each other, to support each other's mental health. Sometimes we have weeks where things are tough and there needs to be a bit of flexibility in what we can manage. And some weeks we just feel like we're trying to piece back together some broken bits that just don't want to go back together again. We need to be able to ask for help and we need to be able to offer help. For Christians, of course, we believe that your plate is not the only thing supporting you. But underneath our plate the thing that helps us manage a little bit more when things are hard is that somebody else's hands are supporting us even when our plate is patched together and a bit damaged and, and fumbling through God's hands are underneath the plate holding us supporting us enabling us to carry that little bit more Let's finish with prayer. We thank you, Lord, that you have made us unique and special and priceless. A unique set of strengths and weaknesses and levels of resilience. We pray for ourselves and our school as we continue to face uh, very unique circumstances, stresses and strains that we've never experienced before. And we ask that in our times of weakness, 
we would still be able to ask for help. We ask that you would help us to keep our eyes open to those who are struggling and we would be able to offer them kindness and help. And we pray that you will keep us all safe through half term. Amen. Even the sparrow has a place to lay its head. So I would You 